I come up with the idea of the draw on meter 2000. The draw on meter 2000 provides electricity when you talk. I thought of something funny and I thought of BGT and um, the ventriloquist I quite like. I wanted to make that an invention of what you do in your day-to-day -day life and I thought of talking because um, that's what you do most of the day really. And um, yeah, my parents do it a lot as well. <laughs> you can think like outside the box and you can think different to anybody else. When you make the idea at the start, you don't think it's very big in that. But if, if you get in the top 15, like you have to do all like this and that. So for further on in life, you can say that I've been filmed in that. Um, because of little inventors and when you do it it can boost your confidence. Hi Ruby. Hi. Um, so I loved your idea for your little inventors uh, invention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like my um like my nana and my mum and um that like like talk a lot like when they like, get into a conversation they don't stop so um yeah based around them they would be good with the invention if um it comes to life yeah definitely i know that's the same in my family because once you get my mum talking it's definitely difficult to get her to stop <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, it would be a bit rude to say like stop stop yeah, but then you could use that power to your advantage. In my day-to-day um, -day job, I'm an animator. So I make models. So I thought that I would make the um, characters into models and have them wearing the device. And I started off by getting one of these, one of these little wind-up chattering teeth type things because I thought that that kind of fitted with having chattering people in it and then um, I went off your first drawing that you done for my first character which I thought would probably be the, the mum character in it so I'll show you the first puppet that I've come up with for it which is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's been really fun to make it. Um, really exciting to, to do a project like that where you get to like make the character and everything. It's been really nice to do it. I think it's really interesting for children to take part in something like this because it um, it really takes their ideas seriously. So if you're thinking about a problem that you need to fix, like um, if something needs energy generating for it and then thinking about solutions to that. That's exactly how products are developed in the real world. And I think that's so important to get experience of doing something like that at that age. And I think it's really quite inspiring to think about that might be the kind of career that you might want to go into later on, whether it's like being an inventor or whether it's like um, doing something like I'm doing where it's making making things like what um, what I do for a living so it's it's really good to like introduce children to things like that and hopefully that you found that interesting as part of it. It feels like quite good because when like when I first like put my idea down I was thinking I would never have thought it would get this serious. I thought it would just be like a like a fill in some times um, and just like have fun on design and stuff like that. When I went to the event um, I was thinking um, 
like people are taking it much more seriously than I than I expected it to be. So um, now, like a creator um, is actually making my idea. It feels it feels quite good. It's been absolutely fantastic being able to show you where I'm up to with the models so far. And then I'm really looking forward to showing you the next part in the process. Bye. Bye. Introducing Little Inventor's Jorometer 2000. Yeah, not complaining today, although I have been a bit achy with all this gardening. I've been all at it all week, pulling it weeds, watching them roses. I've not stopped all day.